I'm going to run you through the basic operation of these winches. Now, these winches can see quite a lot of load on them, so it's really important you get your winch protocol just right. Whenever we're loading a line onto a winch, we always want to make sure we put at least three turns clockwise around the drum. And the reason for that is it's the friction of the line against the winch that stops it from slipping out. If you have less than three turns, it's not enough friction when the line comes under load to still hold it. So all the winches spin clockwise, so we always load them in a clockwise direction, making sure that we're always holding the line with our little finger towards the winch or hand on top of the rope. Three turns, nice and neatly, clockwise around the winch drum. You're then going to pull in as much as you can by hand on the rope. Remembering to use your body rather than your arms. Once you've pulled all that you can by hand, you're then going to load a fourth turn, and if there's enough space on the winch, sometimes a fifth turn around the drum. Comes into the self-tailor, pull tight. At no point there did I let my hand come in between the rope and the winch. So I'm just going to demonstrate that again. So you've got your three turns on the drum, pull in a little bit on the line, and then keeping a constant straight radius pull away from the centre of the winch, comes across the silver pre-feeder, winch stripper, into the self-tailor at the top. Once it's into the self-tailor at the top, you can let go of the line. Take a winch handle out, pop it in the top of the winch, start to grind. You're going to go in the difficult direction first, remembering to use your body weight, not the strength in your arms, to winch in as much as you can. You're then going to stop. If you still need to bring in further on the line, turn the handle the opposite way, and you drop down a gear. When you've winched in as much as you can, winch handle comes out and goes straight back into the pocket. Final thing you want to do is pop a couple of safety turns around the top. When we come to undress the winch, there are two ways in which we do this. One is if we ease out, and the other is to let fly. Talk about easing out first. Take the safety turns off, starting with your little finger pointed to the winch, close to the top of the winch, keep your elbow locked and that will force your hand to stay below the top of the winch drum. You then, again, constant radius pull away from the winch, take out of the self-tailor, flat palm, fingers together, push the turns out and down off the winch drum while easing out with your other hand. And then, when you've eased out as much as you need, it goes back into the self-tailor and a couple of safety turns on the top. The other one you're going to do is let fly. And when you want to let fly on a winch, take the turns, safety turns off. Again, take it out of the self-tailor, remembering that this could be under a lot of load, so it's really important. As I take it out of the self-tailor, you keep this line under constant tension and your hand below the top of the winch. Once you're sure that you're ready to let fly, not stood on the rope, it's not caught around anyone's leg, you're just going to spin the turns off the top of the winch drum nice and quickly and let the line go out. When we want to tidy up the rope at the end, you're going to finish it off with a figure of eight. The reason we use a figure of eight rather than a straight loop is to create a straight loop, you have to put twists into the line. If you put a twist into the line, it means when you go to ease out, that little twist can get caught in various blocks. So the figure of eight is the way we want to finish it off. And the very best way to do this is to orientate one of your hands downward and catch the line like this. You're then going alternate ways around the winch clockwise and then around your hand anti-clockwise. Clockwise, anti-clockwise. And you end up with the line figure of eighted, no twists in it, but the two parts are not interlocked. Quite right, so.